Hey guys, welcome back to the concluding part of Terry sharing his experiences visiting Nigeria for the first time. I hope you enjoy watching. Thank you. Um, one thing which I wasn't expecting. Yep. Which Sunday, which Sunny dropped on me at the last second, was the entrance to to like the wedding hall. You had to dance. He dropped that on me as well. Yes, it's awful, isn't it? Like, I, think, I couldn't believe I was like yeah. who is that yeah like, I think I think I stole the show <laughs> to be honest I have to go back and watch it to see yeah. who really yeah. <laughs> did steal that show but yeah. he was dancing his hat off yeah I, 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 I didn't expect it like he goes okay you've got to dance now mm -hmm. as I'm about to walk through the door and I was like what <laughs> <laughs> that was a shock like, wasn't it yeah he goes you've got to dance and get, get everyone in the mood and get everyone up so <laughs> I did pull out the moves I'll be honest well done <laughs> well done so how did you find the accommodation like? The accommodation was great. Um, it was the first night. There were a couple of issues. Okay. Like it was me and Coley in the same in the same room, mm -hmm. which is fine. You know, we, we we've been in the same room many other times. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was it was a lovely accommodation. I remember it being really nice tile floors. Mm. Um, I think it was the same accommodation Sonny's dad was staying in. Yeah. Um, so I knew it was going to be a nice place. So that was stay. the hotel, wasn't it? The hotel, yeah. yeah. Um, and the the couple of issues at the beginning was the toilet didn't flush. Oh. Yeah. So, but I thought I'd broken it, <laughs> but no, it was okay. It just it just needed a few mechanical things uh. fixing with it. So did you fix it, or you got someone to fix it? Oh, I I don't know anything about <laughs> toilets, so <laughs> we got we phoned down to reception. So and they got you sorted. Yeah, they oh, sorted okay. it very That's good. Quickly. I didn't I didn't know any of this. Yes, and it. I don't know if I can say this, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, the shower had a nozzle that showered like you, <laughs> that came and washed you. Mm. But it also had a nozzle lower down, which I which I wasn't aware of. So when I turned it on, <laughs> I was expecting the water to come out there, but it came out and hit me where it shouldn't. Oh. So I was riding on the floor for a little bit. <laughs> it was very powerful. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll ask for the manual. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, ask for the manual for. Have you got, have you got a manual scouts. for the shower, just in case? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was great. The food, oh, the food was lovely. They had some, they had some yam, mm. and um, Colby and I ate that religiously. Okay. Did you go anywhere else, or I mean, did you like do some sightseeing? We or? did a few sightseeing to so a few little, um, a few little places. Mm. It was, it was nice to when we went to the mall. I think we went to the mall all together. What I wasn't expecting to see it was like mud huts next to it what there was, there was like some little housing mm. that looked like um like thatched roofs mm. over here and like um the walls were clay mm -hmm. i wasn't expecting to have to see such a built-up area mm -hmm. right next to um like what i see like a village mm. area um the yeah that's 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 what sticks in my mind another thing that sticks in my mind is when we were turning into where we were staying, into the village, the way we were staying, mm. the police guard, like general, I was, I was expecting again, probably like a lighting system, yeah, to let the traffic filter over, mm -hmm. but there was a, 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 I think it was police or the army with a big stick, ushering people into into the lane that they needed to be in. Oh, and like traffic warden. Yeah, like a traffic, traffic direction. I think he was very brave because the cars were, f were going really quick. Yeah, we, we do. Yeah. We were yet to graduate. I think we have now because the last time we were there, we have a lot of traffic wardens, but yeah. some like very beautiful places they're not introducing like traffic lights, yeah. zebra crossing, and on safety on the road because it can be very terrifying. Yeah, on our roads, it, it can be honestly because yeah. no one stops for you, it's just yeah. <laughs> very, very it's just fast paced. Yeah, very fast paced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. now again, that was that was something that sticks in my mind. Like so, the food sticks in my mind. The um, the little the little boy ushering his his, his hair. That's it, really. Like, and how just how beautiful the ceremony was. One thing I've got, which I really really was good, was I th did you give Sunday's dad like a little present? Mm. I think was it like an aftershave or something, or like a uh, order to twilight or. I remember he was so excited. He jumped up and then he was like swinging it around with his <laughs> hand like. And he's like, yes, I finally got it. Oh, <laughs> bless. Yeah, yeah. What would you advise someone 
that wants to go to Africa or to Nigeria? What would you say, considering you've been there? Yeah. So what would you advise someone else? Go there, um, be be prepared, like prepare yourself, like have a, have a very open mind and just enjoy it. Yeah. Like um, enjoy the enjoy the food, as you, as you can probably tell, I'm a bit of a foodie. <laughs> um, enjoy, enjoy the people and like and just be open to the conversations that are going to come your way. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's, that's what I would. Would you uh, live in Nigeria? Would I live in Nigeria? Is that an offer? Well, it's on the table. It's on the table. <laughs> Run it past Sonny and Louise first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd live in Nigeria. I would. I'd, um, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to explore more. I'd mm -hmm. like to go out into like the countryside yeah. to see and maybe see villages where, where Sonny's mum lived or mm. like perhaps s something which wasn't as built up so a little bit more non-urban. If that's if that's a, if that's a phrase, but that's that's what I'd like to win, see a bit more of. So yeah, that's good. I'm yeah. glad I you got to share your experience. I mean, when I came to the UK, I had culture shock, yeah. like every other like non Brits that come. And obviously, if you go outside the UK, you would also experience culture shock. It's just the way of life. People are yeah. different, and cultures are different. You either adjust or you don't adjust. On yeah. it's just a mental. You just prepare yourself mentally prior to going to Africa you had some preconceived thoughts about what Africa was like or what Nigeria would be like, yeah. like from what the media tells us or what you've heard from people. And now that you've gone yeah. and you've come back. What I've seen on the TV and what I've witnessed, like just through what the media has told you or what other people's perceptions are of, mm -hmm. of Africa is on the TV, it's very poverty stricken. Like yeah. it's always, it seems, it seems as if it's always asking for help, or we're always, we're always not asking for help, but we should always provide help. Mm. However, when when I got there, um, it, it was different, you know, in, in the sense that there was there was obviously a, cla um, a class divide, mm -hmm. but what you see on the TV isn't what Afri what Nigeria actually was for me. It was more it was more built up than what I expected. For people that don't know or you don't you understand what I mean, yeah. they think Africa is like this. I mean, some of them may be true, but sometimes yeah. when you go and experience it, it's a different, you know, kettle of fish from what the media tells you yeah. or what people say and you know, it's like don't go to Africa. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. you've been on your back and you're you're <laughs> you're well. So yeah. yeah, thank you so much Terry for, for having, you know, this time with me and well, yeah thank you. thank you guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video today and please as usual don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe please click that um subscribe button and until my next one stay safe bye, bye.